Oh my gosh, James got so much done on the basement yesterday when I was at work. Of course he had all three boys, so he didn't record any of it, but I will show you guys all the progress and everything that he did. So one of the first things that he did was he put all the corner beads on all the 90 degree angles to start prepping for finishing the drywall. You can see them over here as well. Lots of that stuff. Okay, what else did you do, babe? Uh, put these pieces of drywall up and seal them. Okay, what else? He put the rest of the drywall up here, going into the bathroom. Left a hole there to access this if we ever have problems. I don't know how we're gonna cover that up yet, but we will for sure come up with something. And then here in the bathroom, hi Isaac. Here in the bathroom, you can see where he started putting up the concrete board so we can tile the shower. That's looking good. Of course, got more of that edging on. What's that stuff called again? Corner beads. Corner beads. So, lots it's of progress. Blue tub either. It's white. Yeah, I know. I said that in the video earlier. We are leaving the plastic on until we're done tiling. That way, the tub doesn't get damaged. Get your ball, bud. But the most important thing that James started yesterday is the ceiling. We talked and talked and thought and thought, honestly, for months on how we were going to finish the ceiling so that everything would be accessible but still have a unique look. And this is the solution we came up with that's so smart. See if you can see it behind me here. What we did was we actually utilized the eye joists because they have that lip and we cut pieces of drywall that we're gonna spray paint black eventually and just slid up in there. Kind of like a drop ceiling, although it's not a drop ceiling. So we don't lose any height, so look at it. And then you've got the recessed lights that are in there. It doesn't look great yet because it's not finished, but man, I absolutely love it. There is insulation up in there. And then we did have to add these pieces of two by four and then we cut two pieces of drywall and slid into each side. Hi Isaac, sorry for the background noise. And then we will have a trim piece that goes around the whole thing with some recessed lighting in it that we will put in eventually. I love that. Babe, will you explain to us how you cut the concrete board real quick? Yeah, this is just your rock cement board. Um, just cut it with a razor blade, just like you would drywall. Make your two marks where you want to cut, which I already had this one scored, but you just take your knife across it. Once, breaks, comes right off. Oh, because there's like a layer. I remember doing this for other bathrooms. There's a layer of meshing on it. You can kind of see it here on each side yeah. with the concrete in between. Yes. So squirt yes. once, break it, and you're then... You're just getting through the top layer of mesh, break it off, and then cut through the bottom layer of mesh. That's all you're doing. Okay. And then how are you putting it on? What kind of screws are you using? I'm using special screws for these. Um, obviously, these aren't going to rust or anything, but it's for either Durarock or Wonderboard. Those Every right here? Has it. Okay. So now... I don't know if you caught that, but he used this right here to drill a hole in the concrete board. And then that is what goes up there for the shower. Sorry, I don't know why that was blurry, but anyway, perfect fit.
Ooh, hello. That's dusty. Okay. Okay, I love these here. James put these two shelves in, and now he's just lining them with the concrete board to finish it. So you can see where he put the concrete board on the back. Now he's putting on all the sides. Here's the strips he's got cut. have started the horrible process of finishing the drywall. James did get the rest of the cement board put in. Looks magnificent. And you can see over here, that is done. So now we're just gonna work on taping all the joints. Ugh. And working on the drywall. And first coat of putty in the bathroom is complete and the taping is done. This is our least favorite thing to do, but unfortunately it has to be done. Now we only have to do the whole rest of the basement. <laughs> James worked so hard in the basement yesterday. He got all of the taping done on the drywall that we have up so far in the basement. It's just the first coat, of course, but it looks fantastic. So I'll show you guys all of that, and then I'm gonna actually go through and put a second coat on all of the screw holes on all of the drywall. So starting here on the steps, re-taped all this. First coat's there, done. All of that. James has made so much progress in the basement with finishing the drywall, and I successfully have not got any of it on film. But I'll just kind of walk you through briefly and show you what he's done. This was something we had originally talked about contracting out, just because we are not good at finishing drywall. But we decided to save the money and do it ourselves. So I don't know how many coats people normally put on drywall, but it takes us a lot to get it perfect. But it actually looks pretty good. There's still a lot that needs to be done. I'm gonna work on sanding down the screw holes today, but it's coming along. We basically just keep putting the putty on it until it looks good enough. If it takes two coats, great. If it takes six coats, that's fine too.
so I'll briefly explain to you how James and I have been putting this in. And sorry, the kids are playing in the background, so just ignore that noise. Anyway, so obviously we put in the insulation first, and that's just gonna help with the sound barrier since this is a movie theater. You can see where the eye joists run this way. And the eye joists obviously have a lip. You can see here the lip that it has in all of them. So that lip is where the drywall sits. So first you just put in the insulation and then you cut the drywall to the length that you need and it just sits up in there. And then lastly, because we're doing a piece on each side, James cut these two by fours to the correct length and put them in there. Now we have two options for finishing this. We can either paint everything black, the wood and the drywall panels, or we can stain the wood and then paint the panels either white or black. I would prefer them black, which I think is what we're gonna do. Just to kind of keep it dark since this is a movie theater, but you could theoretically paint these whatever color you want. that simple. And then you just do it over and over and over again. If you do decide to stain the wood, the obvious issue with that is you have to clean up all of this wood to stain it. So you've got some black spray paint there you would need to sand off. You've got the words and information that comes on the lumber when you purchase it. So there is definitely some work that's gonna need to happen before you can stain it. But I feel like that look, the stained wood along with the panels being black would be really classy looking. So it's just really up to your personal preference. But as far as like the plan, I love this ceiling. I think it's gonna look amazing. It's very simple and it's practically free. It's very cheap. And then everything, of course, is accessible, which was most important to us when we were coming up with this idea. If you ever need to get up, all you do is take the drywall out. And then other than cutting the pieces of drywall to shove up in there, pretty much the only other thing you need to do is to obviously cut out your holes for your HVAC vents and your lights. But other than that, it's just pieces of drywall that go up there. And then we'll show you later, but we're gonna put a wood piece trim that goes around the whole thing, and it's gonna have lighting in it as well. And that'll give it a really finished look. We're gonna leave the panel out here because I have some stuff I still gotta do up in there for the projector, so. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that panel out for now. We'll go ahead and finish the rest though. As you can see, all the drywall pieces are in. Now all that we have to do is add those little pieces of two by fours to all the rest of these spots. But you got it cut out, got the fire detector mounted, got the lights in, and it looks nice. We're cutting the two by threes and putting them in for those areas. So here it is. We are measuring each one individually and putting them in because the lengths do vary a little bit from each eye joist. So put them in. And how are you fastening those? Uh, just with a um, 
Finish nail it. Finish nail it. Okay.